What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial it's going to be just a quick little beginner tutorial for families and this is just kind of a little tip or trick uh, to use when you're modeling some furniture or something like that and that's how to create this filleted edge cube. It's a simple uh, thing to do in some other 3D softwares but in Revit it's it's a bit difficult, it's a, it's a bit weird uh, how to approach this problem uh, but I'm just going to be showing you how to do that and then we're going to have this cute little kind of a filleted cube. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media as well i post there and if you share some of your projects with me just tag me with you in your post and i will be and it will be featured on my social media but anyway let's get started so i'm just going to be using the fam a family for this so just going new family and i'm just going to be dropping back a folder and choosing english and let's go with a generic model and here uh, now we're going to be starting off with an extrusion. So you just create a rectangle like this. And then you select one side. And then uh, let's make this 500 millimeter. Uh, let's select this side. Make that uh, 500 as well. Now we don't need this dimension anymore so we can delete it. Now we select this. Now 500 plus 500 equals 1000. And the same thing on this side as well. 1000 finish it off okay and here for the extrusion end uh, let's give it a thousand as well so it's going to be on all sides a thousand then you go here to fillet arc and you select two sides and then you see how much would you like to fill it this uh, little cube so uh, let's go like this and let's do 250 so let's go to radius type in 250 and yeah just click click here click here and click here as well. Okay, then you go finish and you go into 3D and you get this, but it's not a filleted cube, it's just a weird extrusion. So how do you finish off this thing? So you go to create, uh, you go to uh, void forms and then you find the void sweep. Then you go to set work plane and you can pick the bottom one. I just prefer working with the top one, so you just select that. Then you go with pick lines and, uh, or sorry, just uh, go back. Before you go with pick lines, make sure that you're on modify sweep and you go to sketch path. That's uh, something I, I always make a mistake there. Then you go and uh, I suggest you start off uh, from this, uh, from one of the straight sides, uh, not from the uh, curved edges because you want this profile to be on the straight side. And I'm just going to be turning on this thin lines option to see everything a bit better. So once I have this path, I just hit finish and then you can select the profile and double click and now you can edit it. So now what you need to do is you need to do one line like this, one line all the way to the bottom and then one line like this as well. Then you go to fillet arc, uh, you again go with the same radius and you do that and you do that and you're done. Then you go with TR for trim and extend and then you trim this or trim and extend this, trim and extend that, do the same thing here. Now go into SL for split line and then you split here and then you trim and extend, trim and extend. Okay, so now you just hit finish and then you go to modify sweep, hit finish again and it says delete elements. So what is wrong? Uh, well, just go cancel. Uh, the problem is if this is 250, this doesn't work. So this can't be 250 as well. So you need to edit the profile and you need to make this uh, a bit smaller. So go with something like 240. And now you adjust it. I made that mistake on purpose just to show you, uh, just to explain why does it work that way. So now you connect this here. Yeah, you just go trim and extend, trim and extend. Okay, and you do the same thing here. 240 and then you just move this here and you go again move here and you just trim and extend, trim and extend. You hit finish, you hit finish again and now as you can see we've got our little cube and because we can't see it right now in the perfect way let's just go to shaded and there you go it looks really cool our little filleted cube and of course you can maybe select this thing like that, filter, uh, uncheck the void, hit apply and then you can change the material so go to material and let's make it blue and let's search yeah let's use this blue kind of a, a bit matte 
material hit finish go to realistic and there you go your little blue cube is there okay so that's how you created this uh, filleted edge cube in Revit it's a silly topic but uh, you sometimes need to do this and it's uh, it's really difficult when you don't know how to approach the, this problem but anyway that's it for uh, this quick little beginner family tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day